if you guys watched the last podcast with episode with Reagan, I think a big takeaway was Preppy K. So your improv this year was very iconic, I would say. I, yeah. Everyone was like jaw dropped. I know my jaw was literally dropped when. What was your character when you were like doing That's Life in your solo? In the podcast last year, you said you have to turn, t- you had to turn your phone in. Yeah. Did that continue throughout the year? Yeah. What was your first thought when you won Best Dancer? An email and I was like, oh, it was like, you have to learn you don't love me or something. I was like, I always wanted to learn that dance. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to episode 34 of Stop Talking Kens. I'm back with my very, very, very highly requested guest, Reagan. I, when I tell you, I got about 50 DMs saying that Reagan needs to come back on the podcast after she won Best Dancer. Um, I'm not even kidding. Are you, are you like honored to be back? Yes, I love being with Kens and I'm enjoying the podcast already. Okay, I think we should just talk about best answer. I think we should. I posted on my story a list of questions that you guys want to know from Reagan, and about 75% of them are about her junior best dancer experience and just winning. So I think you should just talk about the week first, mm-hmm. and then you can talk about like how you literally won. Yeah. So the week of the dance awards was like really, really fun, and just Molly has prepped all of us for all of it with like improv and like technique classes combo classes and everything so we all were really prepared and it was just like the best energy like at the dance awards that was probably like one of my favorite like not just because of the win but like of everyone's like attitudes there no matter what we got even like going in with you don't love me and stuff like it was just so much fun but leading up to like the last day of the gala um it was like A process of like the auditions like classes optional classes like I had to do my solo twice three times oh wait no no two times two times and then my final solo once and then you don't love me so I did like a few dances there but I had like a little bit of downtime so I got to like watch like the older kids perform and stuff like that and everyone just did so well but it was really fun at the dance awards and like the audition was like kind of scary but I'm like used to learning combos and like auditioning, auditioning because of project 21 and how often like we do that stuff so it wasn't that bad but I really like enjoyed the experience so your improv this year was very iconic I would say I, yeah. everyone was like jaw dropped I know my jaw was literally dropped when both of your improvs so d- was literally anything going through your head well so the year before, I didn't even, like, make top 20. So this year, to just, like, make top 20, I was, no, like... No, to win. No, well, yeah, make top 20. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, before, like, when I made top 20, I was, like, okay, well, that's already, like, a step forward yeah. from last year. <laughs> so, so, so I was, like... So you're t- you were, like, your name got put for top 20. You were, like, okay, improvement was, like, from last yeah. year. <laughs> and then I got put for top 10, and I was, like, oh, wow. Like, I didn't even get anything last year. So I was, like, okay, now, whatever happens now, like doesn't really matter because i've already done better than last year i already did better than last year and like my goal was mainly like top 20 or top 10 wow (laughs) so (laughs) that was like my goal so i already like met my goal so i was like okay now i just need to go out there and like do your best yeah Yeah. just do my best like there's nothing really stressed about so then like when i was like watching other people go like i kind of forgot i had to improv and then like when the girl before me went like i looked and i was like oh my god like i'm next and, like, I didn't have anything planned. Usually, like, people have, like, an idea of what they're going to do. But, like, I didn't really have an idea. I was just, like, oh, I'm going to just go. So, when, when this was imp- this was genuinely improv, yeah. too. Yeah. Well, like, I knew, like, a few things that I wanted to do. But I didn't have, like, a full, like, structure. Yeah, you of. didn't, like, you had, like, improv before. Like, at Pro 21, yeah. like, Molly had, like, improv. But, like, yeah. you didn't have, like, a set, like, phrase or anything that you were, like, I'm going to do. No. So, you really just let the music move. Yeah. You. And I just, like, like doing, like. Things that, like, no one, no, like, things that, like, no one else has, like, done already, so it, like, stands out and stuff, so then I just, like, stopped, 
Yeah. <laughs> I just try to do like the opposite of what everyone else is doing to like stand out, I guess. And like I one time did that like in like the studio because I was just like everyone just like is always like so much fun like in like so funny like in the improv project. And I did that to be funny one time, but then I just like kept doing it. I don't know why. So and then you did and that then TDA. I did that TDA and then uh, Molly like was talking with me like prior to before? that before yeah and was like telling me like I need to be like more like groovy and like actually like be like in the music so I would just like go into like a bunch of tricks yeah like, yeah yeah like sometimes my improv is like all tricky or it's like all movement yeah yeah but I needed like a mix of both but. So she helped me, like, find, like, grooves and stuff. And, like, I just, like, used things that, like, she was helping me do. But all of it was, like, not planned at all. Okay, so you did top ten. And then you were just, like, great, I'm done. And yeah. then you were just, like, top three, like, whatever happens, whatever happens. Yeah. And then you got announced for top three. And were you, like, very shocked? I was, like, I don't even know. Like, what was going through my head, I was just, like, oh, my God. Because, like, when I got top ten, I was shocked. Like, I didn't really think I was going to get top ten. So when I got top 10, I was already shocked. And then, like, everyone's like, your improv is so good. You're going to get top four. And I was like, okay, don't go there. Because, like, that's not, like, I don't want to get my expectations. Like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. So then I was like, oh, thank you. And then when I actually got top four, I was like, oh, my God. And then I remembered, like, I have to do my solo again. So, like, you can see in the video, like, my hair's in a braid, like, for my solo. And so I, like, check my hair. I'm like, I went like that, like, on stage to see, like, if I had to, like, redo my hair. My oh, because solo. you wear a braid yeah, in your solo. Yeah, I wore the same thing. So then I, like, checked my hair on stage. I was like, oh, my God. And then I just got ready really quick. And I remember, like, Grayson and Sammy saw it go for the improv. So I just, like, was, like, getting ready. And, like, Molly came back and, like, congratulated, like, all of us. And then I, like, did my makeup. And then I watched Grayson's improv, So like, you weren't, backstage. like, competition ready. You weren't, like, I'm going to do my makeup because I have to recompete my solo. No. Like, I, I didn't really. I wore the same makeup I'm wearing right now for the dance-off. <laughs> So, and, like, my hair, I just always wear that. That's what I wore to convention that day. So, I just, like, wore right. it like that. So, like, I wasn't really, like, prepared to do my solo. I didn't have my costume. And like, You didn't I, have your costume? No. And then I called my mom. And I was like, oh, mom, I'm in top ten. She's like, oh, I'm coming down right now. And I was like, okay. And then she was, like, up in the room, I'm pretty sure. And I was like, I was like, I need my costume. She's like, what? And I was like, I need my costume. She's like, what do you mean you need your costume? I was like, I got talked to you. She was like, oh, my God, I'm coming right now. <laughs> so she runs down with my costume. And then Stella's mom, Kristen, like, came down to, like, do my makeup and stuff really quickly. And wow. then it was a team effort, really. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was watching, like, Grayson and Sammy. And, like, I ran my soul a few times with, like, Molly. But I remember, like, I just wasn't really, like, stressed or really, like, I cared, like, I wanted to do well, but I was just, like, whatever happens, happens. Yeah, like, you knew it was, like, at that point, like, all you could do was your best, and it was, like, out yeah. of your control. Yeah, and then we, like, changed, like, a few things, like, before I went on stage in my solo, and, like, all the people that I got taught for, like, all my friends, so I was just, like, watching them, and it was, like, fun backstage, <laughs> and, like, I remember I was talking, like, Ricky, Millie, backstage, and he was, like, you don't seem stressed at all, I was, like, I'm not, like, I didn't really, like, expect this. Yeah, so... It was just, like, all at once, like, everything was happening. Yeah. So, how would you say, like, going from not getting top 20 the year before to, like, winning? Like, how is that all in one year? It's just, like, so crazy to think about. It still doesn't feel real because, like, everyone, like, is always, like, oh, my God, you're a junior female best dancer. And I'm, like, oh, yeah. I, like, <laughs> literally forget. But it's just, like, yeah, I put in, like, a lot of, like, hard work that the, I did the year before. Yeah. Like, the year before, I was, like... I, like, worked hard, but I, like, chose when I wanted to, like, work Yeah, hard like, it like, wasn't, like, you came to the studio every day working hard. Yeah. It was, like, selective. Yeah. And then, like, this past year, you put in the work every single day. Mm -hmm. And then, like, obviously, it paid off. Yeah. What are you most excited for, like, being junior female best dancer? I think just, like, assisting, because I love, like, learning combos and stuff. And just, like, being on stage with the faculty and like getting to know like all the best dancers more and like the faculty more yeah i'm just really excited for that okay going back to like you said you did you don't love me at tda yeah what was that like like filling in at f for you don't love me at tda so me laudia and well brooklyn laudia and lily we were like filling in for like we were really filling in for anyone just the whole dance got like redone basically redone, basically yeah. So we were in the dance, and I remember, like, I got, like, an email, and I was like, oh, it was like, you have to learn you don't love me or something, and I was like, 
I always wanted to learn that dance. But then, like, once I actually learned, I was like, it's so much harder than, like, it you actually, think. like, looks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I remember I was, like, learning it on FaceTime with, like, Laudia a little bit. And, like, I think Lily was already a swing. But we, like, came to rehearsal. And, like, I was not that good at it at first. Like, I was, like, struggling to, like, keep up with the older kids. But then, like, after a few rehearsals, like, into the dance, like, I got, like, the hang of it more. Mm -hmm. So then, but it was, like, it was, like, the rehearsals are not, like, normal rehearsals because, like, some of the times it would be, like, them doing the NYCDA oh, version yeah. and, like, like, flopping off. So there was, like, a lot of different versions, versions. of You Don't oh, Love Me. Oh, and filming. Yeah, like, the filming version, the NYCDA version, and the TDA version. Yeah. So, like, rehearsals were, like, had to be dispersed, like, of how. Yeah. So, like, Grayson had to do learn, like, three different versions of the mm -hmm. dance, like, which is, like, so hard. Yeah. But, like the rehearsals were, like, distributed amongst, like, the three of them. Mm -hmm. So it'd be, like, sometimes was the TDA one. So you, like, wouldn't have to do it every single rehearsal. Yeah, but I remember, like, my first rehearsal for in general was, like, filming, but I didn't know it was for filming, so I didn't really, like, know the parts I was supposed to know. So, like, I came and I was like, I need to go over this dance. Like, I needed more practice with it. But did you, like, love doing it at TDA? Yeah. Was it, like, it was so fun? It was really fun. Well, like, I love dancing with the older kids, so, like, being with them on stage was really fun. And just, like, getting to do a dance at TDA was also really fun because yeah. we didn't bring any group dances this year. Yeah. And especially because it won, like... and then Oh, it, yeah, finals. Yeah, and then we got to redo it at, like, the gala. gala. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was really good. What energy. was your favorite group, like, throughout this year? Throughout this year, my favorite group was probably Nice Out really? or Big Noise. Because I just love, like hip-hop yeah <laughs> you love hip -hop. <laughs> and i also like i said like love dancing with the older kids and oh, i feel like that was the, a very older kid heavy dance yeah i feel like the energy in that dance is always like up amazing. there it's always like big awesome. noise was really good too yeah it big was just noise, a very good like, dance all the people my age like yeah it's i just love that dance yeah are you do you think something you're looking forward to is dancing with the older kids next year yeah I love taking, like, their combo classes because it also just, like, pushes me more to, like, work harder and stuff because all of them have obviously, like, had more years to, like, train and stuff because they're older. So just, like, being around them just, like, pushes me to be my best. If you guys watched the last podcast with episode with Reagan, I think a big takeaway was Preppy K. Yeah. <laughs> and your school life. Yeah. So, what are you doing for school next year, Reagan? Honestly, like, we don't even know. Like, I want to be homeschooled. But, like, my parents are saying no because I don't even do my work at school. So, you're like, <laughs> if you don't do your work at school, how are you going to do it at home? And, like, whenever you won't, I... right? I probably won't do my work. But whenever I do stay home from school, like, I'm always like, Dad, I'm hungry. Dad, I'm bored. Dad, this, like... And I'm always And you annoy like, them. Yeah. So, they're like, if you do that, like, once you're gonna be doing that every day and i'm like no not so you want to be homeschooled yeah but you don't think it's gonna work out for yeah. you so you think you're gonna have to go back to school next year yeah i think so but like this girl that i didn't like left my school so so that makes it better it makes me want to go back because your friend of me left <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay what grade are you going into eighth grade you're going into eighth grade yeah which is middle school still for you mm -hmm. so it's your last year of middle school yeah are you excited yeah i'm really excited I think, like, you should work hard this next year. Mm -hmm. Do you think you're going to? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, but you're going to be, this is a good test for you because you're going to be leaving on Fridays to tour. Oh, yeah, that too. And then, so you're going to have to make up your work. Mm -hmm. That's why I should be homeschooled, so that I can <laughs> do the work, like, with me. But will you? Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, would... After the, like, in the podcast last year, you said you have to turn, tu you had to turn your phone in? Yeah. Did that continue throughout the year? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, like, actually something happened at the end of the school year. So, there's, like, these chairs that I sit on in the library, and they're, like, kind of tall. And they're green. Like, all of them are green. And there's so many of them, and they haven't for so long. And I, like, thought I wasn't coming back to school next year. I was like, nah, I'm not coming back. So, I wrote on it. Like, in Sharpie, I was like, Reagan Durana sits here. <laughs> and I jumped off the table as well. And I jumped off the table, and I was like, peace out, like, at my school. And then, like, my dad gets a call a month later. <laughs> and he's like, there, my parents are like, you're in so much trouble. I'm like, what? Like, I don't remember doing this at all. And he's like, we're going to the school right now. You're in so much trouble. 
we go to school. You had to he, go to? Yeah, I had to go. <laughs> and I, I was like still like kind of clueless. I was like, what's happening? And then they like pull up security footage of the camera <laughs> of me writing my name on the chair. And they're like, um, this is your daughter. And now you have to pay for this chair to get replaced. And my dad was like, oh my God. Like he was so mad. But I was just having to apologize <laughs> to my librarian at my school. And she said how much like problems I've caused this year in the library. <laughs> but she was very mad and made me go to the school in the middle of summer to apologize to all of the staff. So you recently, <laughs> so I recently visited my school. <laughs> <laughs> and so you, you, you're telling me you'd be returning to the same school. Yes, exactly. And I told my dad that, and I was like, this is another reason why I shouldn't go to the school. What was your first thought when you won best dancer? My first thought, like, when I won Best Dancer was just, like, I wanted to know what, like, Molly was thinking. <laughs> because, like, I saw her in the audience, like, they were, like, top four, please have four. She was, like, like that. Oh, she did that Yeah. Too? And I could, like, see her really well because she was, like, kind of, like, in the front. So you were watching her? Yeah. What was her face like? Like, she went backstage, so I couldn't really see. Oh. Because, like, right, like, when the girl, like, before me got first runner. Oh, she, I, went, she backstage. went backstage. Okay, so when she came off, like you were she the first person you saw when yeah you came off yeah and like i was just like talking to my friends that got top 10 too so you, you're telling me the first thought that came into your mind when you won best dancers what is molly long yeah thinking right now? i was just like i don't know like that's this what i was so too. like shocking yeah so are you only gonna are you going to be assisting conventions on the west coast or east coast too i want to try like going everywhere because like when I do do like optional, com we usually for our like team, team. competitions like stay like yeah on the local. west coast yeah yeah. So I want to like try going like further and stuff like when I am gonna be assisting. So yeah, I might like try. venture out. Yeah, favorite combo for, from this past season. My favorite combo from this past season was that's life, <laughs> and it was just like I don't know. Was it your favorite combo, combo before your solo? Yeah. And then, like, and then it became your solo. And then it became my solo. I just, like, it was a different, like, song that, like, we usually, like, don't do. Yeah. Like, that type of, like, style of yeah. jazz, like, of Frank Sinatra, like that. And then, like, when we did it for the combo, it was more, like, passionate and stuff, like, and you really and you had to get into, the like, passion. the character. And, like, I, like, I, like, loved, like, playing a character and stuff. So, in that combo, it was just, like, my favorite. What was your character when you were, like, doing That's Life in your solo? Well, like, like, it's just, like, that's life and stuff, like, in the beginning. And, like, I'm all happy. And then I go sad because, like, it's, like, life isn't always, like, happy. happy. That's good. So, so your solo was about the ups and the downs. Yeah. And then does it end on an up? I think so, yeah. And then it ends with you winning. Yeah. Boom. How was the Tiger Friday Runway show? The Tiger Friday Runway show was so much fun, and I loved, like, getting to spend it, like, with my friends, too, that, like, are from my studio, like, Berkeley and Brisson, and, like, meeting new people was so much fun, and getting to see, like, Grayson and Stella there, too, was, like, so much fun with them, and, like, getting to showcase, like, my new unitard that's going to be coming out was, like... That hasn't came out yet? No. So, an another question someone asked is, how did you come up with your Tiger Friday design? I came up with my Tiger Friday design because, so, like, usually when you, like, design the outfit, it's what you're going to be wearing for, like, the audition at Nationals. Oh, actually? Yeah. And you, so you designed it based on something you want to wear for the audition? Yeah. And I liked, like, the black, too. I like the black, but I also, like, like the colors that I could wear. Because, like, the black is more like a sleek look, and then the colors, you can just, like, play around with them and just, like wear it for anything but i think the black like looks more like professional so like it could be used for like more of like an audition type biggest tips on confidence some tips that i have on confidence is probably like just doing everything not caring about what others are gonna think i agree like doing things for yourself yeah no like what if i do that this person's gonna think something yeah just do it just do it <laughs> yeah and be confident in who you are. Yeah. What was your celebratory meal after winning Best Dancer? I'm pretty sure after I won Best Dancer, I had Taco Bell. Did you actually? 
Because I like ate a lot of like junk food that weekend. At TDA? Yeah. Usually when I'm at like competitions, like yeah. I don't eat like healthy. Healthy. I'm pretty sure I had Taco Bell because after the dance off, I also had Taco Bell. So you you did your improv, you had Taco Bell, you did your solo, you had Taco Bell? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what did you get? I just got like a soft taco and then I got like a Baja Blast thingy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Say some of your favorite moments from this past season, like season nine. Okay. From like season nine, this past season, some of my favorite moments have been like, just like moments in class really. Like, especially, like, when we're improv like, today, like, it was really crazy. showed, <laughs> like, what has been, like, going on this past season, like, in improv, just, like, seeing everyone, like, when they do improv, is like, what they, like, love to do, yeah. and, like, what they're best at. Yeah. So, like, it's just, like, so much Just, like, fun. the energy like in the, the room. energy, like, you that you guys, like, yeah, it. like, they don't get to, like, see it, or, like, understand. Yeah. You just have to, like, be there to, like, understand. It's just, like, it's crazy. The biggest, like vibe yeah yeah it's such a vibe so anytime we improv is literally the best so going off of that what is something you're excited for for season 10 a few things i'm excited for for season 10 is definitely like connecting with new people and like reconnecting with my old friends that maybe i haven't seen as much like this past summer yeah and all of the new like dances that we're going to be learning because we had like such good dances last year yeah. and we always top them off each year so i just can't wait to see like what molly has in store for us this year yeah what studio did you dance at before project 21 before i came to project 21 like my whole life from birth i think <laughs> no like <laughs> from when i was like three like when i started dancing till i was like six i went to the studio mccoy rigby and then i just like found molly there mm-hmm but like and then, when I was there, I trained with her aunt, Leslie, yeah, yeah. and that studio that I went to before. But it was like a recreational studio. Like we didn't go to conventions; we would just go to like Car and like Rainbow and stuff. So like my first convention I did was under Project Twenty One. And then you went straight to Project Twenty One, and then you haven't been anywhere since. Oh, yeah. so your first like Nuvo and like Twenty Four Seven was with Project Twenty One. Yeah, you didn't do like anything besides mm-hmm. that without Project Twenty One. No, I think I did like at McCoy Rigby like my last year because I would see you guys go to conventions Mm -hmm. so then I went to go to convention and then I went to like a nouveau in the rookie room but I didn't do a solo I just like it was like nouveau I went to like the Anaheim ones and just like Mm. did like the classes okay guys that was the very highly requested recap with Reagan and don't worry she will come back again and again um she is a fan favorite forever and always and i can't wait to see what you do this season if you ever come to new york to do you should come to jump new york with molly yeah and then you can do podcasts in new york you both can do it that's a really good idea it's a good idea so stay tuned for all that's to come we love you bye